Hello everyone, TechnoSleuth Craig Chamberlain here, and we are moving forward with a new series today. We're going to call this the Dual Boot Series, and we're going to show you how to set up your computer to boot up on multiple operating systems. Now this series is not for the faint of heart, and it is entirely and incredibly important that you do a complete backup of all of your critical data before you even try to use this series, because when you're messing with your partitions, or I would I should say working with, where you're not going to mess with them, when you're working with your partitions, there is a chance that you will corrupt your installation and you may have to reformat your entire hard drive and start over again. So, that being said, first thing you need to do is go to my website at PCMachina.com and scroll down to the bottom right hand corner and we have a new category called Free Hard Disk Utilities. Now select the ESUS Partition Master, select Download Now. Go ahead and save it to your desktop. Now once that's completed downloading, you will need a utility for extracting files installed, such as WinRAR. Now if you don't have that, that is of course at the bottom right hand corner of my website as well. It is completely free and so is the software we're downloading. So go ahead and minimize that and go to your desktop. And if you have WinRAR, right click on it and click extract here. That's going to extract your installation, double click on it. And this is the ESUS Partition Master Home Edition. Go ahead and click next. Accept the agreement, click next again, go ahead and click next, and then click next again. If it prompts you that the folder's already there, it's doing that for me because I tested this out before. Just click next again, and I'll create a desktop icon, click next. I'm not going to give my name and email, next, next, and go ahead and let install. And then click finish. And that's all there is for this episode, actually. I want to go over what we're going to be working on. Uh, the reason I decided to do this is because I'm going to be installing a copy of Windows Vista 64-bit onto my computer. And this is actually Windows XP 32-bit. So I'm going to show you also you can install different you know, bit ratings as long as your processor supports the operating system. Uh, but I'm going to be installing Vista so that I can do a uh, computer speed-up series for you guys on Windows Vista as well. Like I promised you before, it's taken me a little longer. But I figured I'd show you how to do this so that you guys that are uh, eager and having multiple operating systems uh, running on your computer at one time can do that. And the amazing thing about what I'm going to show is you can have up to literally, I want to say nine operating systems on one hard drive. I probably don't suggest it because uh, when you partition your drive out that many times, you do put it at a little more risk for data corruptions and things like that. Uh, you know, one or two or maybe three is probably good. Uh, four is kind of pushing it in my opinion, but you know, it's really up to you. Um, if you keep good backups and things like that, then it's probably worth the effort. But uh, go ahead and leave comments and ratings. I'd like to hear feedback. Uh, what are your opinions on this upcoming series? Are you going to be uh, finding it useful? Is it completely useless to you? Uh, but of course, subscribe as well. Uh, thanks for stopping by.